Hello, Truesdale Trojans. Miss Stephenson here. Today, we're going to talk about measurement. Now, there are different kinds of ways to measure. What we are going to be talking about is height. And when we talk about height, we mean something is tall and something is short. Let me show you with my towers. Here you can see I have a green tower and I have an orange tower. One tower is tall and one tower is short. The green tower is tall, the orange tower is short. Well, how do we know? We know because the orange tower stops here but the green tower keeps going. So that means that the green tower is tall and the orange tower is short. Let's try another example. Here I have a blue tower and a red tower. Which one do you think is tall? If you said the blue one, you're right. The blue one is tall because the blue one keeps going. The red one is short because it stops here, whereas the blue tower keeps going up. That's why the blue tower is tall and the red tower is short. Let's try another one. Here we have a yellow tower and a brown tower. Here's the yellow, here's the brown. Can you tell which one is tall and which one is short? If you said the brown one is short, you are right. If you said the yellow one is tall, you are correct as well. The brown tower is short because it stops. The yellow tower is tall because it keeps going past the brown tower. So the yellow tower is tall and the brown tower is short. Here, Ms. Stephenson has some things you can find at home that you can measure with height. I have two cups. One is blue and one is pink. Can you tell which one is tall and which one is short? If you said the blue one is short and the pink one is tall, you're right. The blue one is short because it stops here while the pink one keeps going up, which means the pink one is tall and the blue one is short. Let's try one more. Here are two pencils. One pencil is tall and the other pencil is short. Can you tell which one is which? If you said the blue one is tall and the red one is short, you are right. If you put them side by side, you can see that the red one stops here while the blue one keeps going up, which means that this pencil is tall and the red pencil is short. You can also do this with just some paper and a pen. Or if you have a whiteboard, you can do that as well. You can draw two lines or have your mom and dad draw two lines and you can figure out which one is tall and which one is short. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye.